After you've signed up for a free trial with ClickFunnels by going to clickfunnels.com or using our affiliate link below in the description, you'll be taken to the dashboard that looks something like this. We'll create a sales funnel to sell an online course. Something we'll also be creating within ClickFunnels. Let's quickly create the online course we'll be selling. If along the side you don't see the app for courses, click on the plus icon next to apps to add the courses app. Scroll down and click on courses, then click on add app. Here there are three options, drip course to slowly give the students access over time, simple course, a one module course to get members hooked on your content, and a custom course, create your own custom course with specific settings. We'll create a custom course. Give your course a name, add a description, update the course URL path if needed, and add an image. ClickFunnels will then create your course. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today and our top domain registrar in 2024. You can find out more about Porkbun in the video in the description below. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link below or enter the code the FIGCO24 at checkout. Now we'll want to add the modules and lessons to the course. First, we'll create a module, give it a name and description. Then to add a lesson, click on add content and then add new lesson. Give it a title and click on create lesson. To add content to the lesson, click on the three dots and then on edit lesson. Here you can edit the title, add a lesson description, as well as add a lesson image, video, or audio file. I'll upload a video. When your content has been added, click on save and reload. Going back to the main course page, we can add another module and another lesson the same way as the previous module and lesson. Edit the lesson to add content to it. Again, save and reload, and then close. If you create all the modules and lessons, you can publish them by changing them from draft to publish. It gives you options to publish in the future or publish now. Enroll all existing course students in the module. This is if you already have students in the course and you're adding new content. Include all unpublished content. This will also publish the draft lesson within the draft module. I'll then do the same for the second module. If there's something else you'd like to edit, check out the course settings. For example, you can select a theme, show the course in the customer center, and enable lesson comments, and a bunch more. From the top of the settings or the top of your screen here, you can view your course. Here's the welcome lesson with the video we added earlier on. The course is now ready to sell. Before we create the sales page, let's connect a custom domain so we aren't using this domain to sell our course. To do that, click on workspace settings in the bottom left hand of the screen, then click on domains. To connect a domain we already own, I'll click on connect existing domain. Enter the domain URL and click on continue. You can see it knows we registered the domain with Porkbun. Click on add domain to continue. To set up the domain with ClickFunnels, click on start domain setup. ClickFunnels makes it easy to connect your domain and not have to manually add the DNS records. Just click on continue here. Log in to your domain registrar, in our case, Porkbun, and click continue. I'll then add the code that Porkbun emailed to me and continue. There we go, the domain has been configured to work with ClickFunnels. I'll click on verify ownership to see what happens. And now it's adding a SSL security certificate. The setup may take a few minutes or hours, so I'll continue with the tutorial and come back to this later. If you need a domain, we recommend purchasing your domain from Porkbun. A .com domain costs $10.37, and you can get an additional dollar off by using the link in the description below. Your domain purchase includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. Now we need to create a product for the course. This is what will be sold on the sales page. I'll click on back to the FIGCO, then click on products, all products, and create product. This will be a digital product, our course. I'll give it a name, add a description, and click Create Product. On this screen, choose how someone will pay for the course. Will it be a one-time payment, subscription, or a payment plan? For this course, it'll just be a one-time payment of $47. Then I'll click on Set Price. I can add the same image for the product as the course. Then below, I want to set a purchase action. You can give your new customer access to a digital asset, a course, or a community. I'll select course access and then select the channel launch roadmap course and click on save. It's now time to create the sales funnel to sell the product that sells the course. Click on funnels at the top left of your screen. Then click on create funnel. You can see they have a bunch of pre-built funnels to choose from. 
but I'm going to start one from scratch. I'll give it a name. Notice that the URL is being used by another page. So I'll add 2024 on the end and create the funnel. Click on the plus icon in the middle of the screen to add the first step of the funnel. This will be a page. You'll see lots of templates. These are opt-in pages or landing pages where someone will give their email in exchange for something free. Click on sales to see the sales page options. Let's build our sales page with the dark blue video sales letter template. Again, give it a name, description, and URL. You can also choose to make this page searchable by search engines like Google. Then click create page. Click the three dots and select edit page. I don't want this logo at the top of the page, so I'll click on the three dots and select delete. I'll also delete this smaller text. Then highlight the headline text and write, plan your YouTube channel launch in a weekend. Are you ready? To update the video, mouse over it, click on settings. Here we have the image URL or the thumbnail of the video. Let's first update the video, then worry about the thumbnail. Click on video settings. Then I'll replace this URL with the link of our sales page video. Then I'll go back. Now let's update the thumbnail image. Click on the image icon on the right. I don't have a thumbnail for this specific video, but I'll add another thumbnail image from my computer. The next thing I want to do is to update this button. Let's change the text to, I'm ready to launch my channel. Then what do we want to do when someone clicks on the button? Let's change it to redirect to the next step. The order form we will be creating that after the sales page. Down below, you can see the air icon that's showing up after the button text. Let's change it to a rocket. To edit the button style, click on edit style. You can have three different styles. Let's edit style one. I'll make the background color red like the YouTube button. You can see the button change to blue when I hover over it. To change that, click on hover. I'll change that to red as well, maybe a little bit darker red. I'll leave the press button style as blue. Then change the font weight from regular to semi bold. Make any other changes you'd like to the style and click on update. Close the style section to continue editing the page. I'll save everything to make sure my work isn't lost. Let's change the background of this section. There's a blue design. It's not a solid color. Let's remove this background. Within this section called paint, we can choose from our template colors. The options here are none, lightest, light, colored, dark, and darkest. I'll select dark but I could also go in to edit the style colors and update to my brand colors instead of just choosing from the colors that are part of this template. For this about the author section, I'll swap out this picture for a photo of me. I'll change about the author to your instructor. Add my name, update the paragraph text and delete the bullet list. I'll delete a couple of these sections. Edit this section to be what's included in the course. For the three columns, I'll change the headings to choose your niche, create your channel, and plan your first videos. I'll make up a customer testimonial. Obviously, you want to include real testimonials here or just delete this section. I'll update this text to say, let's get your YouTube channel started and growing. No more excuses. I'm not sure what happened to this button though. Let's update the button text, ready for takeoff, and have it redirect to the next step of our funnel. Change the icon to the rocket again. Then let's save changes to this page and preview to see what it looks like. Let's go back to our funnel. Click on the plus button to add another step. It'll be another page. Select order for an order form page. Some of these top ones look like they're for physical products, so they'll be asking for the shipping information, something we won't need for an online course. I'll choose this light gray order form. I'll give it a name and create the page. Click on the three dots, then edit page. You can see this order form also asks for shipping information. Let's see how we can remove that. I'll click on checkout settings. Under checkout steps, I'll change the checkout steps from two to one. Then go back to checkout settings and select product select. Click on edit product, click add product, then select channel launch roadmap. Let's customize this button. Why don't we make it green and say, let's launch my channel. Then along the side here, I'll write a brief summary of what's included in the course. I'll make up a testimonial and I don't have any other photos ready. So I'll just add a photo of me and my name here. If this looks good, click on save. To publish the sales funnel, you want to go to settings, turn off test mode, and then I'll hide powered by click funnels and click update funnel. Now let's see what's going on with the custom domain setup. For some reason it's not working. 
Let's look at the DNS settings with pork bun. It looks to me like these records weren't removed. They're originally there from pork bun. I guess ClickFunnels didn't delete them during the process. I'll remove them, refresh, and it looks like it's working now. Here's where we can update the URL. Now you can see the sales page and order form are both using our custom domain. If you have any issues connecting your domain, there's a ClickFunnels help article in the description below. And if you got your domain from Porkbun, just contact support and they'll walk you through how to get your domain connected properly. If you need a domain or want to transfer your domain to Porkbun to save money and also want to get a dollar off the first year, don't forget to use the code the FIGCO24 at checkout. One thing I didn't show you here is how to set up payments with ClickFunnels. You'll find an article that walks you through how to do that in the description below. If you want to see other options for creating a sales funnel or online course, I'd recommend checking out system.io that has an amazing free plan and Kajabi, another popular option. We have tutorials for both that you'll find along the side right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.